Hi everyone, I'm Alexis, co-founder of Chasing Rats Games. You might know us from our previous title, Struggling, a puzzle platformer where up to two players get to play the same screeching pile of flesh. It was like the best video game I've ever played. Oh, 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 God. Oh. Hey, well, that was cool. Honestly though, what a fantastic game. Oh God, we're so beautiful! I'm really excited today to talk to you about our upcoming project, Worship a fresh take on the roguelike genre where you get to serve a dreadful old god and spread its influence by leading its faithful followers. Start a cult from the ground up and get ready to explore the grim world of worship full of personality, horror and a healthy dose of dark humor. In worship, your goals are simple. Grow a cult, explore a randomly generated world, and interact with the different factions around you to finally summon an eldritch god to cause the end of the world. Inspired by some of the well-known franchises like Pikmin and Don't Starve, Worship is the ultimate cultist game. The player fantasy and the game mechanics are intertwined to create an engaging experience. The ritual mechanic would be a prime example of that. By spilling blood while moving around, you can draw symbols into the ground to cast unholy spells like summoning demons or turning bloody trails into walls of flames. While rituals are the most potent weapon in a cultist's arsenal, followers are pillars to grow a cult, that is of course if you know how to lead them. Commanding your followers is a key aspect of worship as you'll need those cute devoted fanatics for most of your operations. Also, you will need to develop your own village to become stronger, while unlocking new rituals in the process. The old gods are immortal entities beyond human comprehension. To even know their existence is considered as heresy. Before starting a game of worship, you will have to choose which gods you want to serve. It will directly affect your gameplay in various ways. For example, you can serve Hubrius, the Sour of Insanity. His powers will let you transform your followers into deadly horrors or your enemies into harmless slugs. Aside from your cult, humans and other beings are organized in factions that you will encounter during your exploration. Each faction will see the cult differently and your actions during a game will determine if they are friends or foes. For example, the church won't turn a blind eye to your heretic practices. Factions will have their own behaviors and goals, and this will add a ton of replayability to the game. In worship, you need to spread your devotion towards your god by traveling the world to convert new followers. To do so, you will have to solve handcrafted puzzles, discover new landmarks, and encounter flavorful events involving the world's factions. More often than not, these challenges will resolve to combat. Combat in worship combines follower management, telegraph attacks, and rituals while under pressure. This will create gameplay sequences based on strategy and execution in real time. It wouldn't be right to make a cultist game without a way to convert your friends into playing it together. For that reason, we are really happy to announce that we'll have a fully-fledged online multiplayer support for worship. Connect with up to three friends or use the matchmaking tool to start a cult with other players. Also, Worship will include an in-game streamer mode, developed with the Crowd Control Twitch integration tool. Make sure to contact us if you'd like to know more about this. Finally, we are super excited to say that Leon Monet, the composer behind the beloved soundtrack of Struggling, will be working his magic on Worship. Particular attention to sound design is a defining characteristic in Chasing Rats Titan, as we use music and sound effect to elevate the gameplay for our projects. In this case, every god will have its own musical identity, making every kill a unique worship experience. There is so much more to share about the game, but our work is far from finished and this is why we went for the Kickstarter route. We are eager to know if you are as excited by the game as we are, and we feel like worship is the kind of game that would heavily benefit from having a passionate community behind it. For that reason, we decided to put together an ongoing community event to design a brand new god with you guys during the campaign. Of course, this will be included in the game. Make sure to have a deeper look into this on our Discord server. We cannot wait for you to discover the grim world of worship, harness the dark arts of rituals and lead faithful followers. Thank you for your time and your support.